So many people love to grill during the summertime, and you can get some really nice grills, but they cost a lot of money, sometimes. So when something breaks on it, maybe you could do a repair yourself and save yourself a little bit of money. With us now is uh, John Creaser, who's joined us before, and this time Jim Smith from Page Hardware and Appliance in Guilford to tell us some simple fixes to some common problems. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for uh, rejoining us, John. Beautiful, uh, beautiful piece you've got right here. What is this? It's a Weber. It's a uh, four burner Weber uh, Genesis. The Genesis, this is an EP330. Yeah. It's got three burners in the state, stake sear station. All right, so we're, we're going to talk about the problems that can go wrong. This is a brand new one, but what kinds of problems might a griller be faced well, with technically? The, the two most common problems are uh, not igniting properly and the quality of the flame. Um, the ig ignition modules might rust out or fail after a few years okay and by when you try to activate the, the switch it, it won't work it's safe to, it's really handy to have where a is the ignition located for show us so kind of what the right here this right, would be okay. all right. I'm, put, a I'm a novice so uh, i'm all brand yep, new to this you can that, push that and you can hear a clicking inside that's the spark being generated yes trying to light the burner right and when it's not lighting it don't you, sit there and just punch it like crazy that's right you got about three to four seconds if it doesn't light turn the burners off let the, let the gas dissipate and then try it again. If it still doesn't light, then you get your, your, hand, your spare lighter out and light the thing. But also make sure you don't have too much gas lingering in the environment when you use that as the, well. The big thing in the news last year about the, one of the TV announcers had a problem. Went uh, kablooey. Yes. All right, so you can use that, but is that okay to use that for a long-term fix, or should no, you really you wanna, get this you fixed to resolve the problem. Here? All right, so what, and, do you, so what, so what are the mechanics and, of that? And the, the homeowner can usually repair these themselves. You can buy a kit, depending on the model of your grill, Okay. and uh, it will give you a new spark generator and a new button assembly. All right, um, and that should fix the problem right there. Yes. All right. But, now, but in the, the meantime, so you can cook your meal, have a lighter handy... Okay. So get it started. Now you see the other problem is to cook the meal properly is to get a consistent the quality of the flame. A, a, yeah, yeah, adequate, substantial flame. What do you yes. get? What, what, what do you notice when it's not right? Obviously, well, the food's you, not cooking in a timely fashion. Your temperatures are going to be pretty low. Okay. Um, and that's going to. There's a thermometer here. You would take the grates off and look at the burner tubes, see if you're getting a good flame. If you're not, it's usually because either that you're running out of gas or the regulator's failing. It's another part that the homeowner can easily change. All right, where is that located be. on this? Goes, this attaches to the tank, and this attaches underneath the machine. This would be the only part you would undo. Down there somewhere? On the, on the new, new, new the machines, office. the tanks fit in that spot. Oh, it's right there. You're right there. Okay, that's where it goes. So here's the hose here. Yep, yep, yep. So you, this, you would disconnect this, unscrew it at the other end, and, and put it back on. And expect that to go through some wear and tear as time goes by. This is not necessarily something that's wrong with the grill. This is typical wear and tear, right, John? Typical. There's a diaphragm inside the regulator that fluctuates uh, for the gas pressure. Now, a lot of people are going to be a little nervous about this. They're going to think that, you know, I'm fixing this myself. I'm dealing with gas, f flammable explosions, worst case scenarios. You say yeah. that if you know what you're doing and you take these, follow the directions, you should be okay. Yes, those two components. You don't the homeowner wouldn't really want to get into the sealed system on the gas. Uh, you would call a, a trained professional. Uh, any of the vendors selling gas grills have a technician available to, to resolve those issues. These are common parts that you can buy at most of the stores that sell gas grills. As long as we have a, just an extra 30 seconds here, what about cleaning uh, the grill? How much does cleaning have to do with ensuring a long life for your grill? It helps, but it's good to clean the grill. Just uh, number one, if you don't clean it, you can get fat buildup on the bottom, and that'll ignite, and you'll have a big fire inside the grill. And That's the main reason for cleaning. The grills, most of the better grills today are all stainless. This is probably going to last longer than we are. It's, it's uh, not going to rust. That's the big thing. So when you get done cooking, let the grill run for about 15 minutes, shut it down, and all the residue will be carbonized, turned into almost like a powder, and it brushes off very easily. Excellent tips, gentlemen, uh, coming to us today for a little DIY help on screens and grills. Thank you so much for coming.